Those have got our forecast. Yeah, sure do. Uh, I want to start you out with a camera down the shore. Beautiful shot from Margate. Look at nice. that. Isn't that nice? Lots of beach real estate if you were to go on out there. The sun's now down, but you see a few more clouds than we've had as of late. I just love that camera shot from a top uh, looking off to the north. Here's what it looks like in Philly. Gorgeous shot of Center City with some thicker clouds. So we're going to get these waves that roll through. We get some clouds and then sunshine, clouds and sun. It's had very little impact on our temperature. If anything, it's holding our temperature up a little bit. 73 degrees. That's still where we are in Philly here. And the sun has gone down. 60s elsewhere. 67 degrees specifically out the door in Trenton. So perhaps a light sweatshirt if you're going out, but it's still very mild for this time of year. 70 free folks in Doylestown. So over the next couple of hours, that sun just went down 66 degrees by 7, still low 60s at 9 o'clock tonight. So you're, like I said, a sweatshirt, you're good to go. You're not going to have to grab the heavy coat. And even tomorrow morning, it will be cool, but it will be uh, nowhere near as cold as it was earlier this week. 49 degrees, what we'll do here in Philadelphia, outlying spots a little bit cooler than that, but nothing that's out of control. Everybody's in the 40s tomorrow morning, even you know our cooler spots like the Lehigh Valley, 44 degrees, well north of that freezing mark and the frost mark. And we had that earlier uh, this week. 49 Mount Pocono at the door, 47 for Wilmington. We'll keep it in the 50s down the shore. So tomorrow, even warmer than today. We're going to say 77 degrees. The record is 78. We'll break those down in just a moment. 73 down the shore. And once more, the sunshine with some passing clouds, no rainfall. A great day to spend some time outside. 77 for the Lehigh Valley. The big question is how long is this awesome stretch of weather going to last? The answer is a few days. It's because of this high pressure cell that has now moved a little bit farther off to the east. And as it has with these winds rolling clockwise, it's drawing up this southerly wind. It's going to hold the showers to the north. I mean, there are showers out there. That's the green on the map. And it will remain in charge until it eventually scoots out and it's replaced by a cold front. That is not in the next couple of days. Tomorrow, we're at 60 degrees already by 10, by 171. We'll be in the mid 70s tomorrow afternoon. And by Friday, we're going to be even warmer than that with a high temperature of 79 degrees. Now, on Saturday, that is our warmest day at 82. Then we start to cool things down. But let's talk again about these records. So, 77 tomorrow, the record 78. Friday, one degree off of the record, the record's 80. Saturday is our warmest one, the record's 85. We're going to go 82. And notice Sunday at that 74 degree temperature, it is close. Now, here's the change. A few stray showers possible on Sunday. We're going to call it likely on Monday. This is when the cold front sweeps through and your Halloween. It is going to be chilly and breezy. 54 for the high, but trick or treat time, we're talking about wind chills in the mid 40s. So if you're planning, have the kiddos wear like a bear costume or something. <laughs> be a little bit better. Back over to you. I know that's right. Thank Thanks. you, sir.